Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into the Financial Investor channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be doing our one month recap for the Merrill Edge IRA and Roth IRA changes for August 2018. We're going to be going over the total account value of July. So here in the tag, I always include the total account value, the dividends that were paid out that month, and the total return that we made during that month. So we're going to be doing a quick recap of last month's number, then jump into August total account value, whether we went up or down, and what specific stocks, you know, what was the movement for specific stocks for the one month period? What is my movement here you can see my unrealized gain and loss for my specific stocks as of last month so we're going to be covering the same exact information for august's numbers you know the movement that we went up and then dividends that were paid out during the, the month of august what stocks i purchased with those dividends i had some equity in my account last month that i really wanted to spend so i went out there researched a couple stocks and just added to my portfolio so we're going to be covering all my buys for the month of august and then the total account, whether it moved up or down for the month of August and by how much. So hopefully you guys do enjoy these videos. If there's anything you would like to see included in these videos or discuss or kind of chatted about, let me know in the comment section below. I always read all your guys' comments and reply or take them into account as far as the information. So I got rid of my banner in the bottom. I forgot to keep you know removing that. It took up so much information or space on the screen. And I know a lot of you guys are on mobile devices. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the, having that whole screen. And I'm gonna be zoomed in here in the future in the, uh, in the video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, if you are brand new to the channel and make stock market finance and real estate related videos weekly, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I put out new content, which is every week. So let's go ahead and get into it. So last month, very end of July, the total account value was 8728 and 83 cents i was paid out 30 cents in dividends and had a total return for the month of july of 2.82 percent which is mainly due to apple which is my biggest holding within my ira here you can see it's 45 shares which gives me almost 8500 dollars of value for that specific stock whereas all my other stocks here are either 100 dollars or much less so apple being my main stock invested over on my Merrill edge account now going into last month we're going to be going through the you know the buys the sells the stocks that was purchased but this is just a lot of information so before jumping into this sort of spreadsheet where you guys will just kind of get glazed over i'm going to go ahead and pop up some screenshots from last month's changes so here on the left this is a screenshot as of august 1st 2018 when you know i always do one month from the first to the first so between august 1st and basically the august 31st here this is being recorded at uh, what is this it's monday night right now the markets have not opened on tuesday so this is just the one month review so ira was sitting at eight thousand seven hundred dollars and 29 cents and the roth ira was sitting at 29 dollars or 28 dollars and 24 cents for a total account value of $8,728.53, which I believe is where this number comes from. So 8728, 8728, and 53 cents. Okay, so 83 cents, uh, I think that's uh, 53. Okay, so maybe the change that I had sitting in the account, I'm not sure where the, maybe my numbers were a little bit off or some of the information i know my on uh, my new numbers they don't quite match up to the current prices of the market so maybe that's where the numbers there were a little bit off but anyways the end of august now my ira sitting at ten thousand four hundred and seven dollars and sixty three cents here you can see i had cash sitting in the account at the end of july during my video, I said, I really want to spend this money. I don't want any money just sitting in the account doing nothing for me. So I did find a few stocks to invest. And here, my new total, $10,407. Oh, that's the same number. And then my Roth went from $28.24 with $13 just kind of sitting in the account doing absolutely nothing to now $0.32 cents sitting in the account. And I have $29.44 invested with my Roth IRA. So here, total account went from $87.28.53 to now $10,437.07. And I didn't add any new equity into these accounts. They're just uh, from the gains, capital gains that I made in the account. So here, left is last month's July, right is August 
end of August changes. So here, top is the Roth IRA account. So here, this is my smaller account, $28.24. Here, at the very end of, or at the beginning of August, so August 1st, I had $13.14 just kind of sitting in cash. I wanted to spend this money. So I looked up a whole bunch of stocks that I could purchase for, you know, whatever I had, you know, $13 that I had sitting in the account. And I picked up land for $12 and some change. We'll go over the numbers that I bought this at. So since I purchased the stock, it's gone up 6.12% or a total return of 79 cents. I also have ticker symbol NLY. This is a, what was it, NLY. This is a financial mortgage investment company. I went from 4.08% you know, capital gain. It went down slightly during the month of August. So I, I'm still up 3.02%. And then Tate here, this is a electronic and uh, what was it? Like electronic wholesaler, semiconductors and such. So this went from... 41.29% to now 45.16%. So very still, you know, small portfolio went from $28.24 total because I had money sitting in the account. Here I spent all the money. I just have very little, you know, 32 cents sitting in the cash balance. So that gives me a total invested of, you know, not total invested, but $29.44. And my total return for the account is 9.43%. So that's about a 3% difference there within the Roth IRA. Now the IRA account here, you can see that we added, you know, I had some change shit in the account of, what was it, $18.05 in the IRA. I went ahead and added ticker symbol APLE, Apple Hospitality. This is a REIT. I just bought one share. I bought it a little bit more than where it's currently at. I, it looks like I'm down six cents. So I bought it at $17.71, and it's currently down 0.34%, which is six cents. I believe they actually paid a dividend, so you know that dividend payout is probably why I'm down. Doesn't matter. So here, Apple, starting with Apple, it was up at the very beginning of August, up 17.15%. You can see it is now up 39.98%, which is where the equity went in my portfolio. It went from 85, 63, and five cents to now let's see if i can zoom in on these yeah there we go i don't, I don't know if that was a difference i don't see much of a difference but it went from 85 63 and five cents to now ten thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars and twenty cents so i got paid out a dividend that was reinvested we'll cover all that information here in the spreadsheet and then you know i went up a nice amount I'm basically doubled within the month of august which is amazing and crazy and I remained, I kept UNM, it was up 1.87, it is now down 5.38%, down $6.34, and I already talked about me picking up Apple, and see here, I believe that is all my screenshots as far as, uh, let's see here, I don't think, oh, I have my thrift savings plan that I, I make screenshots of, but uh, this is just tracking the S&P 500. I don't know if you guys, anybody in the military has thrift savings plans, but this is just mainly tracking the S&P 500. So I do have, you know, 10,000 in there, but I don't really make videos on that. So jumping back to my spreadsheet here. So let's go over the IRA here at the top. So this is the IRA. It holds UNM, Apple Hospitality, and Apple Inc. So Big changes that happened in the account. I guess we already covered most of the big changes. The total equity in the portfolio for the IRA went up 17.87%. The total return for the IRA for the month of August went up 22.3%. And the dividends that were paid out on this account were $33.63. So here on the right hand, let me go ahead and just zoom in a bit more. I don't know. I guess I'll have to, you know, when I view it on my phone, I always go back over and view these on my phone to see if I can actually see the numbers. But here, the payout, you know, I just entered the information here. Current dividend of each specific stock. Apple Hospitality is in every month. It's, it pays out every month. So I put in EM. And my the stock one-month performance for 
UNM is down 5.19% for optimal hospitality. It is down 2.43%. And for Apple, it went up 12.94%. So my buy-in stock performance, which we've already seen with the screenshots, is UNM down 5.38%. Apple hospitality, I'm down 0.34%. And then Apple Inc., it's up 39.98%. None of the dividends change from month to month, so all of them remain the same. They didn't increase them, they didn't decrease them. And my income here, let's go here to July. So 136.19 is my new income at the end of July when I did this. I didn't have that other stock in there, which was Apple Hospitality. So by taking that money I just had sitting in the account and buying a stock with it, and also I was paid out some dividends, which I reinvested into Apple. I went from 134 to uh, $134.52 to now 136.19. So I'm up almost $2 there in annual income just by investing money I had sitting in the account and then reinvesting that dividend back into the account. The dividend went from, or the dividend average went from 2.23 to 3.75, but these numbers are probably just skewed. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is my live data, but let's see here. So just by reinvesting money I had sitting in the account, reinvesting Apple's dividend that was paid out, it increased my annual income by roughly $2 for reinvesting about $40 worth of cash. So not a bad change there at all. And moving forward, you know, Apple, I'm not planning on selling out Apple. You know, I'm up what, nearly 40% on the stock, uh, nearly 40% run up on Apple. I'm not planning on selling. I'm just going to hold on to it. It's my IRA. It's not like it can go anywhere. I can't really move funds out of it without being hit with a penalty. My plan is... I may end up rolling it over to M1 Finance. I believe I need to have at least $20,000 of cash in this account to roll it over. So I may end up rolling my thrift savings plan into my Merrill Edge account IRA and then rolling, you know, that and then I will have $20,000 of equity and then I'll be able to roll $20,000 over to M1 Finance to fund the IRA account there, you know, rolling over thrift savings plan into an IRA, then rolling over an IRA, just changing from Arrow Edge over to M1 Finance. So those are some things I'm considering. So now kind of discussing the Roth IRA here. So Roth IRA, I did add that one share of ticker symbol land. This is Gladstone, another REIT. They pay out 53 cents per share. So on this, uh, you know, on this stock, we already kind of covered the numbers here. What is that? Taint? Okay, that's why it's up 45. Okay, so in the month of in the month of August, uh, let's see here. Land. Okay, land had a 16% performance gain for the month of August. I picked it up, and I was able to make a 6.12% return on my investment, and then. NLY, I believe it was, oh yeah, NLY had a one month performance of 1.14%. My buy-in performance is now 3.02%. And then Tate Electronics went up one month performance, 2.27%. My buy-in performance is now 45.16%. There was a dividend cut for ticker symbol NLY. This one did have a very high dividend yield here. It's 8.63, but it did have a dividend yield of 11.64% and they have been cutting their dividend back substantially so this could actually be better for investors as they're taking that money and reinvest it into their and you know their their own themselves they do have a very high payout ratio which could be another reason they're cutting them out I will probably end up well, well I don't want to move it I will probably end up selling out of my my positions here and LOY and taint now and moving that money to be invested somewhere else. I may end up picking up another rate that pays out monthly or something else. I'll have to kind of decide and choose. But they did decrease their dividend from $1.20 to $0.89 cents per share each year, which did drive down the, the income here. It did go up only because I did add that new stock to the portfolio. Otherwise, let's see, it would be at without Gladstone 
it would be at a dollar twelve instead of a dollar forty three. So by adding Gladstone in there, paying fifty three cents out per you know for the entire year, that does kind of bump up the total annual income. Very small amount, but I only have twenty nine dollars in there. So total equity change in the portfolio between July and August here was I went from $8,728.83 to now $10,436.95. So that was a 17.82% total difference in percent. So very nice run up there. So in the month of August, I was paid out by Apple Inc. They paid out $32.85. I had UNM payout. You know, they're the UNM is the accident and health insurance company. They paid out 78 cents. I had land pay out a dividend, so I was able to pick up land prior to their ex dividend. They paid out four cents for their share. I'm, I'm actually up in that position. And then Taint also paid out a dividend of five cents. So I made a whopping nine cents in dividends for my Roth IRA, and I made $33.63 of dividends paid out within my IRA. So total for the month of August, I made $33.72 of dividends. My buys for the month of August, I bought 0 0.1531 of a share of Apple. I you know, basically reinvested, this is just a drip. So I put the $32.85 that I got paid out I bought more of Apple. I bought it at $214.55. I bought Apple Hospitality on the 16th of August for $17.71. So here I had, where is the screenshot here? $17. Okay, so here I had $18.05 sitting in the account. I wanted to buy stock. I went over to finviz.com, looked up all the stocks I could buy for $20 or less went through a number of them, screened them using you know my, my screening method, and then decided, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and add this specific stock to my portfolio. So I bought it, and then here I had $13.14 sitting in my account. So again, I did this, the exact same thing. Oh, this was Apple Hospitality for $17.71, and then land for $12.91 with the money here of $13.14. I picked this up for $12.91. This one has a you know nice run up. This one they paid out a dividend and it's slightly down, but they will continue to pay out those monthly dividends and go up over time. And then uh, UNM did pay out a dividend here of 78 cents. That 78 cents just was reinvested back into at $36 at the time. And so I was able to add $64.25 into the market, picking up some new shares and you know, dividend stocks that will pay it out here in the future. So that is basically it for the month of August. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. I'm going to go ahead and move out just a slight bit here. That way you guys can kind of see the total, total changes for, you know, the way I track everything here. Top is the IRA. Bottom is the Roth IRA. I track the dividends, the one month performance for the stock, my actual buy-in performance and a few other items there. So I didn't sell anything off. The only reason I normally sell off a stock is because it's underperforming or bec because it it's run up you know, by so much. I'm not gonna sell out of Apple. I believe it has so much more potential going into the future. Tatron, I'll have to look at this one over again. You know, when I had researched it prior, I knew it had some run up potential, so it's up 45%. I'm only invested in it for $4.38. Imagine if I had picked up some more, it'd be beating out Apple, but oh well. I think it has some down. Now, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, that is the portfolio changes for the month of August. If you guys do head over to my financial investor website, financial-investor.com, you guys can check out my portfolio and dividend income. I include all of that information here as far as my portfolio here and then my dividend income. What I did starting in august is include you know add my wife's dividends that were paid out for the month of august and then my dividends that were paid out for the month of august for merrill edge so m1 finance and merrill edge add them together so in the month of august between both of our accounts we made 52 dollars and 36 cents i don't include my roth ira or not my roth ira i have a roth 401k i have a thrift savings plan i have 
you know, Robin Hood account. I don't include some of these in my, you know, my calculations and such. So I probably end up do making more dividend income and returns per month. I just don't track all of it. And that is basically it for the month of August. So very nice difference there. My without adding any new money into the account, I went up. Let's see here. Where's my calculator? Handy dandy calculator. So in August, we had 10, 4, 10, 4, 3, 6, 0.95. And then at the end of July, we had 8728338. 8728.3. 8, so we went up in the month of August $1,708.12, mainly from Apple. Apple, you know, earnings came out the day after I did my last video. So this was all due to earnings and just throughout the rest of the month, just Apple growing and growing and growing. So I'm really, you know, I'm really happy that I bought in Apple when I did. You can see that my buy in stock buy for Apple, I purchased this back at $162.43 and it has done nothing but go up and up and up. So that is it for this video, you guys. If you guys do it, did enjoy the video, remember to hit that like button below. Again, if there's anything you guys would like to see included in these videos or have changed, I did, you know, I did remind myself to zoom in and include screenshots that, you know, difference between month and such. So besides that, I think it was a really good month for the month of August. I don't know if I'll see any more growth like that kind of going forward for the remainder of the year, but Apple can surprise us and that is it for this month. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. If you guys have any changes, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. I always read all your guys' comments and reply back to them all. And, of course, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.